In this recording, we're going to create a Visual Studio 2013 C Sharp project, and uh, it will contain a database, and the database will contain one table, this table, employee table, and uh, we will also add a couple of the records down here. So I'm going to open Visual Studio. And start a new project. I can click File Project, and I'm going to create a Windows Forms application, and uh, I'm going to name it WPC. Okay, and this comes up. Uh, now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a database. And to do that, I'm, I look at in the Solution Explorer here. Click on that. And I right click on the project WPC. And I move the mouse down to Add. And I'm going to add a new item. And I'm going to add a service-based database. And I'm going to name it WPC. Okay, sometimes that can take a while, and uh, but when it's done, we see now there is a WPCMDF uh, database uh, added to the project, and so now we're going to uh, add a table. So to do so, we go over on the left here to Server Explorer, click on that, and we see here is our WPC uh, database. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it, there's the red X there because it looks like it's not connected. But if we click on the arrow here, it'll force it to connect. And we see now it's got a green plug there. And, uh, here's where the tables are. If we open up the tables folder, we see there are no tables. We're going to add a table. So click on tables and then right click and select add a table. And we see this comes up. <clears throat> so this is the table uh, design form. Uh, now we are going to, the table name is going to be employee, and we're going to add these six fields here. The first one is going to be the auto number primary key, and uh, that's a surrogate key. And then the next uh, fields are the first name, the last name, the department, uh, with these uh, varying uh, character lengths. So if we go back to uh, our project, uh, the first one is, uh, oh, the first thing we need to do is we need to set the name of the table. And this is important, uh, especially if we, if we type in comments. So we change table down here to employee. And then we can proceed. So uh, the first field here is called employee number. And that is an integer. And if we uh, click on properties over here, we're going to set that uh, so the, it is an identity specification. Set this to true. And the default of this one being the seed and the increment being one is just fine. 
Okay, so the next uh, field is first name, and that's going to be a uh, nchar, and uh, we're going to set that to 25. The next one uh, is, oh, and we're not going to allow nouns on that one. The next one is last name. It's required field. This one is also 25. And the next one is department. This is NSHAR 35. And then we have a phone number, which is NSHAR 12. And we can put that. We can accept nulls there. And the last one is email, and that's nchar100. And we don't want to accept nulls there. Okay, that's it for the specification of our of our table. And uh, so to actually create the table, we have to click on the update button here, and this thing pops up. Preparing the script. And then we have to click Update Database. So those are, those are two things we need to do. Okay, it says Update Complete here. And now we can go back to the Server Explorer. And we need to right click on Tables to refresh. Always need to do that. And now we see that there's an employee table here. And when we pop that open, we see we have uh, the records here. So we are done with this. We can actually close this. And uh, let's add some records now. Let's add a couple records. So click on the table, right click, and do show table data. And I'm going to pin this like that. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to add some data, and uh, we're going to add uh, this, these first two records. Now, if you don't have your textbook handy, uh, and you want uh, a reference to these, these records here, you can uh, go back to the website, course website, click on Assignments, and you notice in the description of the assignment here, there is a spreadsheet. You can click that, and it'll open the spreadsheet, and you can either print that or uh, set that aside. So I've got that open right here. And so I am going to go back to my Visual Studio and uh, start entering these names. Now, I you never have to enter in the employee number because that's going to be entered automatically. So I'll start with Mary Jacobs in administration. Tab, tab. Okay, so we see um, we've entered in two records, and uh, next we're going to, uh, in the next video, we will actually create a form which uh, we can use to add 